Hey everybody, I am Stephanie Feld and this is your five minute EMDR refresher. So today what I want to talk about is an alternative to the container activity. So if you are like me or you have clients who are neurodivergent, the container can actually excuse me, can actually cause more distress and overwhelm for clients who are neurodivergent. Um, and yet that is the main activity that therapists learn in basic training to help clients um, at, typically at the end of a session where you have not completed the target to get some kind of space or distance from all the stuff you just activated the emotions, the beliefs or thoughts about themselves and the body sensations. Um, and so what do we do for clients or for us who the container is not the most helpful activity? What I have for you today is something that I really enjoy using and I share with my clients, um, which is called the house in your head activity. So essentially what this is, um, it also, it pairs really well when you are incorporating ego states or IFS work into the EMDR session. So say during the session, you've activated a specific emotion, maybe it's like anger or grief or, you know, shame, whatever it may be. And maybe you have explicitly named that as a part. Um, I'll link you to my next video, which is about naming parts during an EMDR uh, processing session. Uh, so we'll go into that more in depth there. But even if you haven't, you've, you've brought out these strong emotions. They're not totally processed yet. And we need somewhere for them to go until we have the next moment to process and bring down the intensity. So if you've named the part explicitly, you can say at the end of session, um, you know, maybe you visualized the part of you that is holding a lot of that anger or a lot of that shame. And, um, what, where do we want that part to be during the time in between our next session? So what I like clients to do is imagine the house in their head. So you can do a little guided imagery kind of moment and imagine a house where all the different parts of themselves or, or emotions that they have, kind of like, you know, that inside out Pixar kind of thing, um, where those reside. Because the truth is we have all those emotions or those parts within us all the time. So let them imagine a house. A lot of times people pick their childhood house or maybe a neutral house that is um, comfortable or safe for them. And then just whatever part has been the most vocal, or maybe there's two parts you've been kind of looking at or two emotions, ask them, where, where would you like, or where would that angry part like to be in the house? So a lot of times when I'm working with um, clients who are maybe like college age, maybe we've talked about a really young part who uh, holds a lot of fear, maybe like a five-year-old kind of part or, or a fear part, and they want to be in the bedroom playing with toys. And so you just let them imagine that and feel what it's like for that part to be able to do that really um, positive activity and let them feel that like peace and comfort of that. That is what can help shift the emotion from the fear being in your face and now you know, some positive feelings. Or if it's like an adolescent part, maybe they want to be like talking on the phone or doing an art project, listening to music. Um, sometimes uh, other parts want, maybe there's an angry part that wants to be like in one of those smash houses, beating stuff up. That feels really good to them. Whatever it is, helping them imagine somewhere that that part or emotion can be doing something that feels in alignment or feels good with what that part needs and allow the client to really feel that emotionally and in their body. And um, essentially you're creating that affect shift similar to what we would do with the container, the peaceful place, um, just from a different angle. And it's a way to deepen uh, parts work integration even more. So I hope that's helpful. If you want to go deeper, look down in the comments below. I offer individual consult, group consult, 
and other resources. Take good care.